G'day guys. Uh, today we're going to have a look at the new Dragonfly video transmitter from fpvmodel.com. Uh, it's a 25-200-600 milliwatt uh, video transmitter. It's a stackable design. Uh, it has buttons for your channel and your frequency however. So uh, some people, you know, it's a love-hate relationship with these sorts of things. Like I personally prefer one button and a seven segment display. Other people, they prefer buttons, um, yeah, I mean, like, we'll, we'll see. But um, in, in any case, it definitely it definitely makes for a, a better, um, you know, like, a better design. Like, here's a, my old trusty uh, TM25 uh, switcher. Now, this is this is my favourite video transmitter. This is what I'm talking about, like a single button and a seven segment. And um, this, you know, this will do up to one watt actually. Like it, it's a 25, 200, and 600. But you can actually um, change, change the uh, the power output on the device as well. And you know, they're about the same size in in all reality. They're um, they're very very similar in size. But the Dragonfly with the way that you, you stack it, it just makes it so much more convenient. And uh, and I will give them props for this connection. Like it, it's not really tried and tested in you know in mini quads, that's for sure. But it's a really cool design, and I, I can only hope that it works really well and and it's very durable. But like you know, if that works well, I'd like to see that more often. That's for sure. Okay, so I thought I'd uh, throw an antenna on. I had to right around I've got a reverse polarized antenna so hard to find one of those that wasn't easy um, well before I do I'll just say, sh show you here it's got a, a, um, a little UFL connector here for, for your antenna which is really cool so you can you can change your antenna very easily and another sort of cool idea is grabbing like an old FR Sky 2.4 gig uh, antenna and sort of chopping it down to I think it's I don't know 13 12.9 look it up I'm going off memory here but um chop that down to you know a one fourth wavelength of of uh, 5.8 and um and you can whack that on, on on there and I'd probably only run that at 25 milliwatts but for you, for you know racing for racing around in the field just sort of practicing and stuff for gates and stuff like that might be a really durable design so I'm going to try that out but um just to to be safe because I'm going to crank this up to the 600 milliwatts just to to go through the menu system I thought I'd uh I'll put this antenna back on the normal one I'd, I don't know if I'd trust 600 milliwatts through that I just I don't know it needs to be tested and yeah in any case, for the bench review, because I'd like to fly this after, I'm going to put a proper antenna that's known to work. There we go, back on. There we go. So we're all on there, and uh, here's a wiper I prepared earlier, and uh, plug that in, and we should get power now. Initially, it'll run through and show what frequency and channel so I'm on channel 3 band 4 so blue light is band red light is channel so band 4 channel 3 now to change I had to sort of read the, the PDF and sort of figure this out but you know most people should be able to figure this out anyway um, to change channel you just hold down the channel button and now we're in, when it starts flashing just the channel where it's flashing three times so that's channel three press it once and we'll go to four flashes for channel four and so on and so forth so one more press and we're on channel five and I just want to get myself back to channel three um, that's one that's two that's three now to get back to the normal, like back to the menu or the the main, you know, out of here, I can either wait 30 seconds or I can hold the button in for another 5 seconds I think it is. There we go, 3 seconds. 
so now it's back to just displaying the channel and band now to change band same thing hold in the band so now we're on band selection so it's on band four four lights one more press band five one more press one one more press two and again band three and again band four okay so I can either wait 30 seconds or hold this in for three seconds I guess okay so we're back to back to um I don't know what you call it we're out of the menu okay so now to power um <laughs> that's fucking retarded <laughs> but yeah um so to change power levels we hold both buttons in so whoop, both buttons okay so now both LEDs are lit and it's got one flash which is 25 milliwatts and we can to change power you can hit either button so hit it again and we're at 200 hit it again and we're at 600 milliwatts hit it again and we should be back 25 and same thing again you can just hold one button in to get back out or wait 30 seconds so we'll just hold one button okay so now we're on channel 3, band 4, and 25 milliwatts of, uh, of power output. Excellent. Okay, so I'll just unpower that. It's not really, um, yeah, how hot is that? Not hot at all. It's only a two cell lipo, so yeah, that's what I expect. You know, it's that's mildly warm. So not a problem. It was on 25 milliwatts most of the time, so definitely not stressing it out so yeah basically I'm gonna throw this into my build now I'm, I'm halfway through uh, I'm halfway through building the uh, quadrant in a forum one with the beta flight uh, f3 this is how I've wired up the the current sensor got ground coming straight into the the forum one and then just tapping a little ground uh, that that is more than enough you know with the ground coming from here back over here is a reference for a the current sensor and whatever you're running so this wire is, is excessive for the needs um, you know but in any case that completes the whole circuit and then for video it's I might as well throw this in here now and I'll repeat this in, a few, in more videos I'm sure now for video you want to have video coming in to the video in video going out to the um, to the video transmitter on the second pin in of course now the ground wire for the uh, for the camera needs to attach to a ground and all ground here so it needs to you need to essentially um, chop this wire connect, connect it to your camera oh while we're here also because this is <laughs> after all um, a review for the you know for this video transmitter you can't plug this into any camera obviously they've got something else in mind here uh, if you want to plug this into your, any HS1177 cameras this is not the connection for you it's another one of these uh, sort of clip designs that we've got back here so obviously they've got something in the works not sure what it is but uh, in any case so uh, back to the the wiring sort of set up here so we've got video coming in video going out to the video transmitter and we want to have ground tied to here and you also want to have ground for the video transmitter here and power either coming from so both grounds need to be tied uh, stuff is I'll just link a description to like a wiring schematic or something this is just painful um, or you know maybe I'll just record this when I'm finished as well uh, in any case so both grounds for the video transmitter power and the ground for the camera back to the video transmitter need to pass through in some way to the analog ground here pin on on the flight controller to the OSD if you plan on running the, the on-screen display alright so now I'm going to get back to, to building this thing and uh, let you get on your way. Thanks for watching, see you next time.